right. Well, hello and welcome. Welcome in. Hello. Today's today is not Thursday. Today's probably going to be Friday if we're being real honest. So here's what's going on, everybody. I'm smack dab in the middle of moving from San Diego to Los Angeles. I got my car all packed up full of crap. I got my computer on the passenger side, uh, passenger seat next to me. So we're just going to have a little bit of an adventure today. Here's what I got planned. We are going to obviously head up to LA, head up to my new place. We got a load of stuff in the back. Like I said, it's mostly vape stuff. Honestly, it's mostly my desk drawers. It's mostly vape supplies. It's uh, mostly camera stuff as well. Tripods and lighting and cameras and stuff like that. As well as my collection of hats. I have all of my hats here too. I thought those were important enough to need to need their own special trip up to LA. But I also have a whole mess of vape mail in the back of this car as well. So once we get up to my new completely empty unfurnished office, we're going to sit down and we're going to open up some vape mail and we're going to set something up in the new place and and then I'm gonna vape it back on the way back down to San Diego because I gotta come back down to San Diego tonight to pack up more stuff, to load up more stuff, to take it back up to LA. This is how moving works. It's a vicious cycle of manual labor that I really dislike the most. So that's going to be the adventure for today. It's it's not quite a, a vlog. It's, it's, it's not a vlog. It's definitely not a vlog. This is like a vape mail travel adventure type of situation. I don't even know what I'm gonna call this video, but I did wanna show you what I brought with me to vape in the car. This is that Enoch Inokin Chroma A uh, Zenith kit. It's just rad mouth to lung. This is 18 milligram Glacier Banana on the inside. It's just a really satisfying car vape, something I don't have to think about, something I don't have to drip, and something I don't have to worry about leaking or anything like that. And, and left over from Vape Jam UK, this is what I traveled to Vape Jam UK with. It's that Wake Mod Co. Littlefoot kit. This is loaded up with that bonanza juice from culinary confections and again this is just another like road trip type of vape i'm about to drive for like three hours and i don't want to bring like a mech and a dripper as much as i love love mechs and drippers driving in the car you know it's not really ideal for 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 driving having a mech and a dripper so this is what i got this is what i'll be vaping Let, let's go to la It's times like these that I'm very thankful that I get to work from home because LA traffic, it's a very, very real thing. <laughs> Yeah, this is my office for now. It's just a, a big empty room with, with taupe walls and, and a door and a closet. And I haven't made it my own office yet. It's not much to look at right now. Um, I do still want to open up some vape mail, but uh, before we get there, I did bring a Febreze scented garbage bag with me. Mm. But before we get there, uh, I do got to unload some stuff from my car, so I'll be right back. All right, well, uh, I unloaded everything. We got uh, internet installed, which I'm really excited about. And I would like to actually take a minute and just take a breath and open up some vape mail. I don't have a desk. I don't have a dresser. I don't have a shelf. I don't have anything to put this camera down on. So I'm gonna have to jimmy rig something just real quick. Oh, that kind of works a little bit. Uh, yeah, uh, I think that's as good as it's gonna get right now. So let's, uh. Let's open some vape mail. Uh, not just vape mail, I also have a Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty box that arrived in the mail that I'd like to open up as well. Uh, I don't even know where to start. I know I saw something in here from Coil Turd, which I'm kind of excited about, but we're gonna start here. Yeah. 
Uh, so this is from Innovations. Uh, this came from a, a company called Innovations, a fellow named Jeremy. Uh, he says, I'm really excited to have you try my products. I've sent you one from each of the line, whether or not you ultimately post a review of them. I'm excited to hear your feedback. Hope you enjoy them, of course. Uh, I've been a little uncertain up to now if I should try to create the appearance of a larger company or if I should just embrace the fact that I'm in a tiny house, I'm a tiny house, one man operation. No shame in being a tiny house, one man operation. I myself am also a one man operation. Uh, by the time you get this, I will have the box car on the website, the sidecar and the sidecar 24 millimeter will retail for 34, uh, 35 99. The box car will retail for 38 99. The packaging I have sent you is the final packaging with the exception of the instruction insert in the box car, which I'm updating. In case of the box car, once you have it assembled on a mod, I would recommend removing the bottle from the Delrin cap to refill. Removing the Delrin cap from the body is a bit messy and hard to fill through the straw. Okay, I'm not even 100% sure what this is. Remember, he had sent me some uh, some pictures on the interwebs. Okay, so this is the sidecar 24. Oh, okay, this is a squonking accessory. Yeah, it's one of those guys. It's one of the it's one of those sidecar guys, right? So this threads in here, and then this screws down under your 510, and it creates a squonker for a mod. This is designed. I believe he said this is designed to be used for a box mod. <laughs> Okay, I believe he said this is designed to be used with a box mod. So yeah, there you go. It's one of those little sidecar things. Other than other than that Cthulhu, uh, you know, uh, squonker accessory that I can't even remember the name of right now. I haven't really tried any sort of squonker sidecar accessories. So. Figured I would, uh, you know, give this a shot. He seemed like a genuine dude. He really believed in his product. So I thought, yeah, cool. Anyway, stoked. Thank you for sending that out. I'm going to give those a try just as soon as I, you know, set up the rest of my office. And this is actually all of the vape mail that I got while I was gone, while I was gone on the East Coast and while I was gone in the UK. So it's, it's piled up a little bit. Well, wait, this looks like geek vape packaging to me. Yeah, the Zeus Dual RTA. I, uh, I feel like I've been out of the loop a while. I have no idea what the Zeus Dual RTA is. That is a pretty big honking RTA. It's got some top airflow action happening there. Right there, little postless deck design right there. Tiny little flathead screws hold your leads in. Zooming, yeah, that's a top fill. The Geek Vape's been using like the same top fill system. It's that really simple one turn on, one turn off type of top fill system. Two big kidney shaped juice fill holes right there. Yeah, it's just literally one turn and then it's back on. Boop like this, one turn and it's back off. Yeah, cool. All right, Geek Vape, let's try out this. Zeus Dual RTA. Does look to be 810 compatible as well. Hmm, airflow feels nice and smooth. All right, well, cool. Um, I do have all of my building stuff with me right now. It's one of the things that I did take up in this first load. And so uh, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna put something together right now here in, here in my new unfurnished office and we're going to uh, we're going to vape it and, and and we're going to talk about it. I'm going to vape it on the way home as well. So I'm either looking to set up something I don't have to drip. I want to set up either a squonker. If there's a squonker in here, I'd love to set it up for the drive home. But there is an RTA in here, which I might set up for the drive home. The Zeus Dual RTA is on the list. Oh, the iJust Three. This is, this is cool. I'm actually really excited about this. I really hope they're not both rainbow colors though because I, I, I don't know, I just can't stand that rainbow finish on things. Does anybody else, is anybody else bothered by that rainbowy finish? It seems to be like the most popular finish for all vape stuff ever these days. All right, well, slight change of plans. Luckily, I did bring my DSLR with me because the batteries in my Canon GX7 Mark II vlogging camera just died. And so now we're shooting on this and the audio is now gonna sound even worse. But anyway, we had the iJust 2. We were talking about the rainbow aesthetic of things. It's not for me. I don't like it. I don't enjoy that aesthetic. And I'm sorry that I have to hunch down like this, but I have a very low platform for my camera to sit on. So I was a pretty big fan of the original iJust and I was a pretty big fan of the iJust 2 as well. In fact, maybe even just for the sake of time, maybe something like this is what I'll set up. And there's no color markings or color designations on here and I hope it's not rainbow. Okay, 
Please don't be rainbow. Okay, it's purple. Uh, well, that's fine. I can rock purple. That's no big deal. That's whatever. I can rock purple easily. And these eye just kits, man, they're just designed to do one thing. It's a sub ohm tank and a battery, and this is how you vape it. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like this is a, a little bit, I feel, uh, maybe of like a feminine, a little bit more feminine color, this this purple and pinky sort of color. See, now I want to open the other one and see what color that one is. Oh, it's rainbow. It's definitely rainbow. In fact, I might like the rainbow more than I like the purple. Yeah, fuck it. Who cares? I'm gonna use the purple. So yeah, I just three. You just three what? <laughs> oh, oh, this is the one from Beecher. This is the one from Coil Turd. You know, me and Coil Turd, we, we share a birthday. So so just a big, big happy birthday to Mr. Beecher, Coil Turd. Happy birthday, bro. Heart, Grim Turd. Oh yeah, look at that. That's pretty dope. That's actually a super dope shot on there, Coil Turd. Uh, oh, wire sticks. Dude, wire sticks for days. Coil Turd, you son of a bitch. You never let me down. Oh, holy shit, that's cool. Feature, oh, you're so fucking cool. I did not get you anything for your birthday and you got me a white painted Recoil Rebel preloaded, pre-built on the inside with a squonk pin installed. That is sick as kits. But yeah, I remember he showed me a while ago a picture of his Recoil Rebel sitting on top of a white mech mod and his Rebel was white. And I said, how did you do that, dude? And he's like, oh no, I got a guy. I got a guy. I know a guy who can uh, powder coat stuff. And so he powder coated what I believe to be, originally this was gold? I think this was gold originally. Powder coated white Rebel. Fuck that's cool, Beecher. Fuck that's cool. And just a mountain of wire sticks. More wire sticks than I may ever use, which means ba -ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. these are gonna go into some uh, some future $2 sales. Yeah, and some more coils. Look at all these coil turd coils. Awesome. This is awesome, Beecher. Uh, thank you. Thank you, bro. Just. Fuck, thank you. I owe you so much, man. Anyway, these are more coils than I may ever use as well, so future $2 sales, you guys. Is this a huge vape mat? Is this a huge coil turn pro series vape mat? Look at the size of this thing. Ha ha! That's dope. That's so badass. I might actually use this one instead of the grim green one I have on my desk now. That's just pretty. All right, let's keep this party going. Wotafo! Oh, this is that, what's it called? The Recurve? The Recurve RDA? Made in China, manufactured by Wotofo. And it's got a Mike Vapes logo on it. Did Mike Vapes, did Mike Vapes release this? Did Mike Vapes design this? I keep getting tagged in pictures of this Recurve RDA and I know literally zero about it right now. I wonder why, uh, I wonder why Mike Vapes went with Wotofo instead of Vandy Vape. He was using Vandy Vape before, wasn't he? Oh, my O-rings are popping off here. Yeah, it's a little, uh, 22, this is a very small little 22 millimeter deck, maybe even smaller than that. Yeah, it's a smaller deck with a thicker outer cap. Looks to be 810 compatible. Um, I'm not, I, I, I'm interested by this deck. I'm very, very interested by this deck. I think this is gonna be quite the cool squonking atomizer. Not so much dripping, mostly squonking. But I'm, re I'm not super in love with the aesthetics of this. I don't like the, the swoopy in on the sides. That actually, kind of, I find that aesthetically less appealing. I mean, which of course, this is just personal preference here. All right, well, there you go. The Recurve RDA. God, I didn't even bring up my good microphone. I don't have my good microphone right now. So I can't even plug in my good microphone and get good audio on this camera. Uh, this is from Vapefly. It just says easy for vaping. There's no, there's nothing on here. It just says vape fly easy for vaping. Oh, all for easy vaping. What, what could possibly be inside? Might be an atomizer, might be a, a tank, might be an RTA, might be a sub -ohm tank, might be a squonking atomizer. And it is uh, maybe an RTA. This is the Horus RTA, named after the ancient god Horus. Another day, another RTA. Yep, uh, it's a little single coil banger right there. Really weird. Okay, the airflow. 
airflow comes in at a real weird angle. That's interesting. Well, I find this I find this Horus RTA interesting. It's just a little single coil guy right here, and then the airflow kind of comes through the front, and it comes through the top and goes down, and then up to your coils, and then at your mouth. Interesting. The more twists and turns that an airflow has to take, I found that it gets a little bit more turbulent maybe, a little bit less smooth. This AFC on here is just a spinny AFC. It does not click or lock into any position at all. Hmm. That's smooth. That's that's a real real smooth airflow, vape fly. All right, cool. Horus. Review questionnaire form. Here we go. What is the name of the device? The vape fly Horus RTA. Are there any special features or speaking points you'd like mentioned in the review? Yes. One, unique airflow system. Airflow surrounding coil to produce best flavor and no leakage. Easy top fill for mill capacity. Pierced design to avoid heart. Pierced design to avoid heart. Pierced design to avoid heart. I have no idea what that means. All right, cool. Well, there you go. Yeah, thanks, Blake Fly. Very cool. Slowly but surely, here we are. We're getting through this. Here's something from uh, from up from the Pacific Northwest from Bonsai Vapors. I'm assuming this is juice. Oh yeah. Oh, they sent me some, uh, looks like they rebranded a little bit. This is uh, Fizzy Vape Co's Pink Paradise, Fizzy Vape Co's River Float, and Fizzy Vape Co's Palm Punch, as well as some of my uh, my Milk Plus juice that I just, I love so much. Hey, hope all is well. A lot of changes and new things here at Bonsai Vapors. The newest coming to Bonsai Vapors is the Fizzy Vape Co Collection, launching 413. Uh, you can get, oh, whoa, there's a coupon code in here. We might want to pay attention to this. At bonsaivapors.com, you can use the code Fizzy, F-I-Z-Z-Y, for 50% off. A 100 mil bottle is gonna be only $15 after this discount code. And this is on uh, from between April 13th and April 30th. So there you go, holy shit, I had no idea. I guess between April 13th and April 30th, if you use the code Fizzy over at bonsaivapors.com, bonsaivapors.com, what? bonsaivapors.com, ugh. You get you 50% off, that's dope, that's super cool. There you go, take note everyone. All right here, before we open the last two vape mails, I kinda wanna open this Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty Box just because it's been sitting in my office and I keep looking at it and I keep wondering, What's in there? Oh, look at that! That's fucking cool, man! Uh, it's a Funko Pop uh, Scout Trooper on a speeder bike bobblehead. That is cool. That's cool. Oh, I'm so excited to put this somewhere in the office. And I got a pair of socks. These socks never fit me right. But it's the uh, it's the Rebel Base right there. It's, it's the Rebel Base on the Forest Moon of Endor. Or not the Rebel Base, that's the Imperial Base on the Forest Moon of Endor. That's what I believe I'm looking at because that's the Death Star up there. And this seems to be Return of the Jedi themed today because there is an Endor Ewok patch. Might throw that on the battle vest. <gasps> Holy shit, that's cool. Oh, look at this little wicket right here. Look how cute Wicket is. Do I really want to hang this Wicket off of my keys? I feel like it's just gonna get pulled out right there. It's just a little piece of fabric. I could slam this in the door and Wicket would just become ripping off of there. All right, so we're not gonna put Wicket on my keys. Still, some very cool stuff and this fucking scout trooper on the speeder bike is very, very cool. I get really super bored with some of the Funko Pop stuff. I feel like it was really cool when Funko Pop was making like a few things here and there, like you could get like a stormtrooper or like, you know, a, a, a Hermione. I don't know why I just went straight to Hermione, like a little Harry Potter thing or like a Hellboy thing. But now there's Funko Pops for everything. Everything you can possibly imagine there's Funko Pops for. And it kind of makes them seem I don't know, a little bit less unique, a little bit less special. Regardless, this is still very, very cool. All right, back to vape mail. And I have to apologize again. I'm gonna continuously apologize. I apologize for how bad the audio sounds on this. I don't have my, my good microphone up here with me right now, and so we're just getting straight, you know, out of the camera audio, so it's it's just gonna sound like 100% garbage. Oh, this is uh, this is the newest version of the USV Arc mod. 
Do you remember the Ark? It was a mod that I really liked. I had some, you know, a couple weird issues with it. There's red on red. There's red on white. There is blue on blue. <gasps> that could be cool. Or there's black on red. Oh no, what am I gonna do? I might have to go black on red. I think, I feel like that's kind of like the, the coolest one. Oh fuck, that's cool. And here's the thing. I really enjoyed this mod and I'm interested to see, yep, they changed it. They changed that, they fixed my gripes with it. That's kind of un unbelievable. Uh, updated USV arc mod, they, they edged out, they, you know, they softened the edges right here. I'm assuming, I'm really hoping that they fixed like uh, the firmware on the inside, you know, and how, how it would go to sleep and you kind of had to like wake it up and then vape it again. That is cool, that is very cool. I'm really excited about this, I'm gonna be using this a lot, even though this is a product I've already reviewed, they did a little update to it, so why not? I'm gonna keep using it. Let's, you know what, these aren't wrapped in plastic, so let's just take a quick look at what the other ones look like as well. Oh yeah, that is sick. Okay, the blue on blue might be the one I'm stealing because that blue TM24 Pro Series, how sick would that look on this? That would be amazing. Kent, if you're watching this, this is the mod you need for your TM24, that blue TM24 Pro Series. Um, well, they sent me a couple, which means, yep, these are gonna go in some future $2 sales. Pretty excited about that, as you guys should be as well. I've seen the white and the red, but what is the red on the red look like? Oh yeah, it's just full on, full on super red on red action. Just boom, red on red. Fuck, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Last one. Oh wow, something from Aspire. Oh, oh I might know what this is. Oh yeah, look at that. So this is called the Feed Link. <laughs> what? Why, why, why is it named that? Why is it named the Feed Link Revo Kit? Feed Link, um, but it is a squonker and it has a tank on top. Okay, oh, that's cool. Single battery, 18650. Got some uh, resiny doors on the side there. Big old bottle right here. That is a big old soft silicone bottle. Oh, okay, it's got a one twist in, one twist out sort of thing going on there as well. Metal straw through the center. Really interesting. I'm wondering what this tank is that goes on top. I've never seen a I've never seen a squonker with a tank. Yeah, this is the Revo Boost R T A R D T A O O O no It's uh it's like the maze it's like those shitty 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 shit shit maze coil heads I I hate okay there there's a reason why I never reviewed the maze it's because it's awful it's just Garbage. It's the worst. It's one of the worst vapes I've ever had. It's one of the most fiddly, most leaky, most spitty, least flavorful, awful feeling, unsmooth, turbulent vapes that I've ever had. I really hated the maze. And this looks to use a very similar coil head in it. This is, this is really tripping me out. This, this, fairly cool. It's really straightforward squonker, big bottle, single battery unregulated squonker. All right, so I'm super confused by this tank. I'm super confused by this little Aspire, not so much the Aspire guy, I'm just really super confused by this tank. I don't know what's gonna happen when I squonk it, and I don't see how, I don't see how the juice is gonna go from this tank to that coil. It's, it's, it's really sort of a mind-boggling thing that's going on right now. And so I, I have no idea what I'm gonna set up. I honestly might set up that Geek Vape tank. The first thing I opened, the Zeus Duel. I, I think I might set that up. This Aspire Feed Link Revo kit is high on my list of things I want to try, but I need to give myself a little bit more time to kind of fiddle around and figure out this tank, I think. So that's where we're going to leave that. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have to clean up the mess I made. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build this. I'm going to build this Zeus Dual RTA. Might throw some Milk Plus in there. I'm going to have to look around for my tools and everything, but I think I'll be able to do it. I think I'm well enough equipped here to do that. So here we go. I'm going to clean up. We're going to set this up. I'm going to be right back and we're going to vape it. <sighs> okay. I'm going to have to kind of do a little bit of a loungy thing right here. The height of this is just, it's not doing much for me, but 
I went ahead and uh, I did. I, 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 it's a dick move, right? It's a super dick move. I opened up the blue one and I thought, I love that so much that I'm going to steal the blue one. Just because I can, just because I can. But I, I built that uh, Geek Vape Zeus Dual RTA, uh, topped it with the DHD nub tip that kind of fits in there pretty well, but you have to give it a little bit of a push down and a twist and then it'll eventually sit real nice and flush down on there. But yeah, so I got this USB arc, I got the Zeus Dual RTA set up on top. I filled this up with uh, River Float from Bonsai Vapors because I have a very sentimental place in my heart for root beer flavored e-liquids. One of the first e-liquids that I got that I truly fell in love with that to this day I credit with helping me get away from traditional tobacco cigarettes. It was a root beer flavor. It was a Chinese decaying root beer flavor and I just loved the shit out of it. And so I'm partial to root beer flavors. And so I just decided to give this uh, Bonsai Fizzy Vape Co. River Float a try, and it's it's delicious. It's a really good root beer juice. There's been a few root beer juices, and I think we've talked about this in the past, but there's been a few root beer juices. Okay, this laying down position, it, it feels a little bit too seductive to me. This is no good. Hey! But there's been a few root beer juices that I've tried in the past over the years that haven't been amazing. I love them at first, and as soon as I get like five or six toots into the bottle, I go, nope, this, nope, this, this juice is not for me. Hoping that doesn't happen with River Float. I vaped a 30 mil of this, I believe, when it was released through Bonsai in the Seasons line, and I did actually really enjoy it. So this is all built and loaded up with River Float. Um, it wasn't super difficult to build. It's a postless deck, and it's got flathead screws on the side for clamping down your coils. I used some coil turd coils, some aliens that were supposed to come out to 0.2. This is at a 0.24. They were supposed to come out, it said, between two between 0.2 and 0.25, and this is sitting right at a 0.24. I don't know how Beecher does it, I don't know how Turk does it, but every time it says the resistance on the packaging, they always come out to that resistance. It, I know that it involves math, which I am very bad at, but somehow they do it and I, I just don't question it. Anyway, like I said, Fairly easy to build. You just pre-clip your leads, you drop them down, you screw them down. I, I wicked it like I thought it should be wicked. I don't know if I did it 100% correctly. Like I said earlier, I don't have necessarily all of my tools right here. I did pack cotton though. That was on the Instagram post that everybody commented on. I did pack cotton. So I got this all built up. Uh, I'm just gonna leave the airflow wide open. I'm gonna set it to 57 watts on a 0.24. Just see how it goes. Yeah, dude, it's vaping. God, that juice is good. That first toot of this river flow was delicious, and I'm hoping that I can keep that train going. I want this juice to remain delicious. There's even some bubbles happening right there. Is it gonna, you gonna see those bubbles coming out right there? Uh, okay, oh wait, the bubbles are escaping over here. Now you can see bubbles happening over there. Yeah, that airflow is actually a little bit wide open. I'm gonna close this airflow down about halfway on here. There it is, there it is. I like that more restricted lung hit a little bit with this tank. With Overall, just lately in general, I've been enjoying a little bit more restricted of a lung hit. Some more bubbles happening right there as well. But yeah, cool, this is cool. I'm, I'm glad I set this up. I can't remember the name of this, hang on. It's not, the, it's not just the Zeus. Oh, people are texting me. It's not called just the Zeus, it's got another name. Yeah, Zeus Dual RTA, Zeus Dual and uh, uh, my first few toots have been have been pleasant. Yeah, it seems to be working great. It seems to be wicking just fine. Literally, every time I've taken a toot on it, there are bubbles that escape. Escaping bubbles. And that's just something that I really like to see. It's something that's very reassuring. I like seeing those bubbles happen because I know that those bubbles are causing juice 
to go into where it needs to go so my wicks stay wet. Anyway, that's kind of all I've got right now, you guys, for today's video. I, I, this is not going to be a full vlog, like I said. I'm, I'm in the middle of moving, but I wanted to shoot some video. I don't have any beer tastings, although I did bring some beer up with me. I don't have any viewer mails or getting to know Grim Green. I don't have any news, but what I will say when I'm wrapping up this video is we got to go, we, we, we have to talk to the FDA, you guys. We have to take advantage of this comment period with the FDA. And I know there's a lot of, there's a lot of people out there, there's a lot of YouTubers out there saying, look, we got guys, we really got to come together as a community and do this. And that is absolutely, absolutely true. You don't have to like the guy next to you. You don't have to like the other vapor on YouTube. You don't have to like that vapor on Instagram, but you do have to defend their right and your right to vape. That, that's how this works. And so while we all don't have to get along and hold hands and sing kumbaya by the fire, this is something, this feedback comment period for the FDA, regardless of how you feel about Vapor D on Instagram or this guy on YouTube or this guy on Facebook, regardless of how you feel about these people, you do have to, you have to. I'm not even, it's not an option. This is not an option. You have to do this. It's just, I can't stress it enough. It's just insanely important. So please, I'll post a link down on the description. Uh, I'll also post a link to Casa, I believe, has a place where they give uh, tips for if you're going to write this, how you should phrase it and how you should do it in, in proper formatting and stuff like that. So I'm going to try to track that down as well. But we have a limited amount of time to do this, you guys, and it's all I want. It's all I've been thinking about and it's all I want anybody to do. So yeah, in the middle of moving, uh, hoping to get back to a regular schedule as soon as I possibly can. Thank you so much guys for just bearing with me during this time, during this moving. This is my new office and, and I promise at some point it's going to be very, very bitchin'. Very, very. Oh, I need to stop saying that. So anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. I am going to vape this in the car on the way home and uh, maybe when we get back down to San Diego, I'll let you know how it did real quick throughout the trip. Um, this is going to be difficult with this camera in the car. Thank you, Google Maps. Um, but I figured sitting in traffic is just as good a time as any to talk about this thing. Because I'm literally not going anywhere or steering anything. I'm just next to a giant truck. Head south on exit 8 toward Northbound S Avenue. No, I'm not getting... Uh, feet, shut up. Shut Van up. Sh I'm not getting on Van S. Shut up. Arc mod so far, so good. Um, it still does that thing where you have to wake it up but you don't have to press it and then fire it. You can just press it and it'll wake up and then it'll start firing. So it's kind of like they just turned it into a really long delay. At least that's what I've noticed so far. I've only been using it for a few hours. Google Maps, will you shut up please? I know exactly. Shut up. I don't need to merge onto anything. I'm on the 101 South, Google Maps. Google Maps gets a little confused in Los Angeles, California apparently, but this Zeus Dual tank RTA has been rocking. Flavor is awesome. I don't think I wicked it correctly because I feel like it goes dry on me every once in a while, especially if I take a really, really long drag. I tend to take shorter drags just because I don't know if my wicking is exactly going to hold up to it, but so far so good. Shit, man, I am really excited to get home and uh, we'll close this video out when I get back down to San Diego. Well, we're back here in my kitchen for possibly the last time, but I vaped this little setup, this ARC, uh, you know, the, the USV ARC with the Zeus dual tank on it, all the way home, vaped all, all the juice out of the tank. It, it did real nice all the way home. I, I had a few occasional dry hits here and there, and again, I think that's completely user error. I think that's me not wicking it 100% correctly. I need, to, I need to take a little bit more time and wick it a little bit better. But otherwise, I like the flavor, I like the airflow, and I like the overall look and aesthetic of this. I like this little blue-gray-blue combo. 
low as well. It's very matchy matchy, but it did great. And uh, I've spent most of today vaping it as well as the next day, by the way. It's, it's the next day from, from the last thing you saw in the video. Doesn't matter. But this is where we're going to wrap this video up. This might be the last video that I shoot in this apartment. Uh, we are, yeah, we're moving. Like I said, we're in the middle of moving. And so, uh, like I said earlier as well, I, I guess I do like to repeat myself. <laughs> I hope to get back on track as soon as humanly possible. Reviews, vlogs, the whole thing. Maybe also a live stream show. You, you didn't hear it from me. But that's something that's also in the works. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm going to have links down in the description to most everything that I talked about in this video. But that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping.